What's up my central unit, it's the central man here, so if you haven't saw my Hall of Fame rant, go and check out for yourself, I did it earlier. So this is my predictions that who should be in the WWE Hall of Fame in the near future. So this is list of wrestlers should and deserve to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. So the first one on my list will be the Steiner Brothers, Rick and Scott Steiner. You know, they were in the WWE. F, you know, for the old school fan in the 90s, you know, they were former Dayday F tag team champions. You know, I, the reason why Dayday don't mention the Steiners uh, right now, I think, yeah, the Steiners left on very bad terms. Including, you know, Scott Steiner, you know, his run in the Dayday in 2002, 2003 in the Ruthless Aggression era was very forgettable. You know, he left on very bad terms, but... You know, you see the Hall and Heat in the uh, Hall of Fame, I think it was in 2018 or this year, because they never wrestle in the Day Day F. I know Booker T wrestled in the Day Day E as a single star, but as the tag team, they, they didn't, you know. As the Steiners, you know, they were former tag team champions in that company at the time. So... You know, the you know, like the Steiners, they are the best tag teams in pro wrestling history. Uh, you know, yeah, tag team champions in the day day E, WCW. I think they were tag team champions in TNA. I might be wrong, but anyway, uh, so that's the Steiners. Uh, the next one on my list, it has to be Edge and Christian. People for years want to see Christian in the Hall of Fame. I like Christian. You know, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. But not as a single star, you know. It was good. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say he had a bad singles run. He had a great singles run. But you know, you know, he was a two-time world champion, former IC champion, multiple time a uh, tag team champion. You know, he does his uh, you know, his uh, talk show, the Peep Show. But I think Edge's singles run is better than. Christian singles run because with Edge he's a former you know he's the first ever Money in the Bank uh, winner. He's won world champions more than Christian. Yeah, Christian won four times. You know, twice in the Day Day E, twice in TNA. With Edge he's won it eleven times. So you know, you know, Edge and Christian as a tag team, absolutely. You know, multiple time tag team champions, one of the best tag teams in the Attitude Era. I'm not too sure. Are they the first winners of the TLC match? Not too sure. But, you know, they, you know, they were entertaining. You know, with the um, fucking uh, <laughs> five-minute pose. Uh, they were the tag team. You know, they were a tag team in the early... You know, in the early... Not early 90s, but in the late 90s. You know, they were this... Um, they were part of Undertaker's Ministry of Darkness. They were in this uh, group known as The Brood with uh, Gangrel. You know, with the flame in the entrance. With the blood. That was entertaining. You know, you know, he feud with the um, the fucking Hardys and the um, the Dudleys in the, uh, two, in the 2000s. So, yeah, Edge and Christian in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. So, the next one should be in the Hall of Fame. Is the British Bulldogs? If you don't, if you don't know who is the British Bulldogs, the British Bulldogs are Davy Boy Smith and um, the Dynamite Kid. I think, yeah, former Day Day of Tag Team Champions in the 80s. I think they feud with the um, the Hart Foundation. For as for Davy Boy Smith, he went on to marry Brett's uh, sister Diana. Um, uh, I think they did a feud with the fucking no, he didn't feud with the um. The Road Warriors. I think they feud with the um the, the oh, what's it called the Ruchos. Anyway, this before my time, but but uh, you know they deserve to be a Hall of Fame. The um the British Bulldogs. Without them, the British wrestlers will never get that big break in America. Yeah, the the Way Barretts, uh, Pack, formerly known as Neville, William Regal, Page, Kip Saban, Marty Scroll, Rockstar Rockstar Spud. They will ne never get that big break uh, in America. Even K uh, Katie Lee Birchall or Katarina Walters, they will never get that big break in America if if the British Bulldog never made it in America because they they wrestle in Brett's dad's uh, promotion, Stampede Wrestling, in Canada. Anyway, uh, yeah, they should be in the Hall of Fame. You know, I think 100%. 
the two person will be adducting the British Bulldogs will be David Boy's sisters, um, David Boy, uh, David Boy Smith's uh, children, that is uh, Harry Smith and his daughter Georgia. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one should be in the Hall of Fame. It's the Big Show. I know people are going to get some complaints about it. Oh, Big Show in Hall of Fame, why? I think Big Show had a great career. He's a good talent, the Big Show. I think he's some of these people who shits on this guy. Yeah, the reason why people are shitting on the Big Show is because he's been poorly booked in the WWE. They did the whole multiple face and heel turns. You know, in WCW, he was the man. He was known as the giant. He was, I think he won the world title, I think it was once or twice. I think he won it twice, the WCW uh, world title. But in Day he had a great career, you know, he's won every single championship in Day Day E. From a Day Day champion, I think he won the Day Day title three times, the world title once, oh no, twice, uh, from an ECW champion, from an IC champion, United States champion, multiple time tag team champion, you know, they put them like a giant. You know, either, you know, you know, I know he put, booked him like shit, but I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. He had a great career. It's not le epic, but it's still good. Another one should be in the Hall of Fame is Kane. You know, like the Big Show, they did the multiple face and heel turns, but he had a great, uh, good career. Kane, uh, Glenn Jacobs, you know. The Kane gimmick is larger than life, you know. The, since the debut in uh, Bad Blood 97. He's been Kane for the last 22 years. You know, like Big Show, you know, two-time, you know, he's a day, former day day F champion, former world champion, former ECW champion, IC champion, m multiple multiple time tag team champions, uh, include, his last tag team run was basically with Daniel Bryan, I like Team Hell No, you know, I think he should be in the Hall of Fame, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, uh, Glenn Jacobs, you know, he's doing, he's doing well as a mayor of Knoxville. Another one on my list, I'll probably do a part two in the near future, so another one on my list has to be The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, man, should be in the Hall of Fame. Like, Steve Austin was inducted in 2009. He was the biggest star in the Attitude Era. The Rock is one of the uh, Attitude Era's crossover stars, you know. You know, he had a great career. Two-time, I think he's a two-time IC champion, tag team champion. You know, he's a multiple time WWE champion. You know, he's a big star in Hollywood right now. You know, doing the catchphrase, you smell the rock is coming, jabroni. You know, he's part of the group known as the two, be two best groups in WWE history the Nation of Domination and the Corporation. He became the corporate champ. You know, feuds with Triple H, S Steve Austin, Mick Foley, Chris Jericho. List goes on and on. Hulk Hogan, you know, that match with Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 18, you know, he's just lodging a life, you know, he's doing well as a movie star, I think he should be in the Hall of Fame, he's one of the big stars in WWE, he's the company's big stars, he should be in, he's in the WWE's Mount Rushmore, so, uh, uh, another one, I feel like I'll do one more, one more on my list, this wrestler, should be in the Hall of Fame. Has to be The Undertaker, man. One of the best stars. He, like The Rock, he's in the Mount Rushmore, man. He's been in the company for nearly 30 years. Seven-time world champion. I think he's a four-time four WWE champion. Three-time world champion. 2007 uh, Royal Rumble winner. The Rock is a 2000 Royal Rumble winner. That's the only accolade uh, I forgot to mention. Tag, former tag team champions with Kane, Austin, legendary, he, you know, the dead man gimmick was large in life. I like the, the American badass gimmick. The, the street, the Undertaker's WrestleMania streak is very legendary. And he should be in the Hall of Fame. You know, I don't think they'll do the Brothers of Destruction in the um, Hall of Fame. But as, you know, as separate, you know. Undertaker's character get, uh, career is very legendary. You know, he should be in the Hall of Fame when he's retired. You know, Mark Calloway's the best. You know, he doesn't. 
Undertaker doesn't like move like a giant, normal big guy. He moves like a cruiserweight. So, Undertaker should be in the Hall of Fame in the near future. Might not be in 2020, but in 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 the next decade. So that's. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a thought to comment below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the Central Mind Network on YouTube.